So Keir Starmer went on the Jeremy Vine show this morning. There's a lot to dismember him over from it. So much so, I've done two vids on it. But to start with, take a look at this. Staff at nine operators are going to stage a 24-hour walkout starting at midday on the 26th of September. Now, the union organising this is the TSSA, and it's calling for Labour MPs to join them on the picket line. So there we, there's another chance you can go down there. No. Why not? Uh, my, I want a Labour government. I want to be the Labour Prime Minister. But my real self is getting a Labour government elected. It's but that's the just a focus. You, know, you may want it's... that, but that's not your real self. Your real that... self is who you are and what you believe. That is the thing that is going to change millions of lives for the better. I can't lose that focus. For I, su example. I support the right to strike. Um, the trade unions are representing their members. But my job is different. My job is to uh, get a Labour government elected. Keir Starmer is a professional political combat. He has brazenly overtly delivered the exact opposite of what he said he would be as Labour leader. I'm not focused on Owen. I'm focused intently on winning the next general election. The TSSA union organising strikes have asked for Labour MP to show up, but Starmer still says no. He's too focused on winning the next election and showing solidarity to what should be his base, or certainly the founders of his party and the Labour movement, apparently doesn't fit in with that vision. And despite all the criticism he's had on that, he hasn't budged an inch, still sticking to whatever line he's been given by Mandelson or whoever. Jeremy Vine picked up on this, asked him to show his real self, and he just switched straight back to him wanting to be Prime Minister and winning the next election. Straight back to stiff, boring, wooden teeth. Honestly, he gives Maybot a run for her money. Supporting the right to strike, which is enshrined in law, as you've also been repeatedly told, Keith, isn't the same thing as turning out and showing support for people taking the last resort course of action to protect their jobs and conditions. You can't lose your focus on your own ambitions, and that's why you don't represent ordinary folk across the country. Owen Jones spelled it out, a man who knows a thing or two about flip-flopping on a given position himself. But here he has Star Bank to rights, and the sentiment he showed could be the words of any of us disgusted by this con man politician. If you cannot see after this why so many of us on the left will not support this man, you're just willfully blind.